Hello and welcome to Big John's Thoughts on the Market for May 2014. We see that as we move into spring that the Calgary and area real estate market continues to be very strong. And the biggest indicator of that is in the absorption rate. And what we mean by absorption rates are if there were no more properties listed for sale, how long would it take to sell through existing inventory? Anything from zero to two months worth of supply means that we're in a seller's market, there isn't very much supply in the market. Two to three and a half months worth of supply in the market means that we're pretty much in a balanced market. Three and a half months worth of supply or more and we're into a little bit of a buyer's market. The city of Calgary, what we see last year is the absorption rate at 1.8 months worth of supply in the market and right now we're currently at 1.5 months worth of supply in the market. So definitely upward pressure on prices, but it's remained relatively stable versus a year ago. Where we've seen the biggest change is if you look at the towns around Calgary. Last year there was about a four month absorption rate. Right now we're seeing that there's about 2.3 months worth of supply in the market. So a huge change in that marketplace. And why do we see that? Well, in Calgary, we've seen that prices have increased substantially over the last year, and that increase has brought more people to put their home on the market. We are actually have seen 7% more new listings into the market this year at this time than we did last year. So that's an encouraging number and an indication that we're going to see things hopefully start to balance out over the next few months. Whereas the towns didn't see those price increases over the last year, so they're not seeing as much inventory into the marketplace and it's creating a little bit of a tighter inventory. If you take a look at the market as a whole, the expectation is, is that we're going to see prices increase by about 5% from 2014 to 2015. So if you're thinking about getting into the marketplace or you're thinking about moving to a larger home, it's just going to cost you money if you wait. And a quick thought, so if you're moving from a $400,000 home to a $600,000 home and the market moves 5%, Basically, that means that your, the existing home you're in will increase in value by about $20,000 and the new home will increase by about $30,000. So you need to make an extra $10,000 after taxes just to be in the same spot as if you made the move today. If you're thinking about making a move, thinking about investing in real estate, those rental rates are continuing to increase so there's some great opportunities there, or you're looking at just getting some information on the value of your existing home, please give me a call 403-244-5646 or you can always send us an email at bigjohn at bigjohn.ca. We look forward to hearing from you and make it a great day.